All right, you guys, let's get into it. No time to waste. Lately, you've been loving the footwork videos, and today I wanna show you the best and probably one of the hardest footwork drills that I know. This drill is good for speed, uh, it's great for conditioning, it's great for agility, and it's also great tactically when you're working your boxing depending on your style. And that is the in and out drill. It's sort of like a pendulum, but it's a little bit more aggressive and it works off different combos. And we're gonna work it as a drill with a combo buildup so you get used to moving in and out off of different punches, okay? So let me break it down and let's get into it. You're gonna love this. All right, let's get started. One way you wanna gauge this is give yourself a line for you to cross. And when you wanna go right up to that line so that when you're stepping over, you know that you're moving in to something. You can use that as an example. Like here, I got this line, I'm gonna step and then go over here. You can probably see me a little bit better back here. I got a line, I'm gonna step and go in right across this line. One of the hardest and most challenging parts of boxing is not just the explosiveness, it's the deceleration, it's the stopping. Stopping so that you can, boom, be right where you want and then come back in, the stopping and changing direction. So this is really gonna help you with that. Let me show you the beginner version or how you wanna start it. From your hands up, you're gonna go up to some sort of line or something that you can step across. And you can just start with the jab here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so you're working that drill to start. One thing that's very important is when you're working this is your balance. You don't wanna have this leg too straight and be up too high and forward. If you are and you're stepping like this, it's gonna put so much pressure on that front foot, you're gonna be tired in no time. So what you wanna make sure is that your balance is centered and you're down, you're in your center. When that leg moves forward, you stay centered with it. The other way that you can do this is instead of bending your knees and sinking is you can widen your stance a little bit and that keeps you more balanced. But the only problem with widening your stance is sometimes that, that's hard for you to travel, to move around. So you can sort of work more like a, a Pernell Whitaker or you can work more like a Sergei Kovalev type of stance depending on what works for you. All right, so let's get into the drill right here. First, we start off with the basic, the 10 jabs, just going in and out. Now you're gonna start easy. You're gonna go one, one, two, one, two, three, back, one, two, three, two. Now you don't have to pivot on all those power punches. You're gonna pivot on the last one. So if I go one, that's fine. One, two, I pivot back. One, two, I don't have to fully pivot, just enough for my hip to release into the shot. Three, I pivot, I have to learn to come back off that pivot. That's something that a lot of you are gonna have a hard time with on that. And then I go back in, one, two, three, two, I pivot on that last one. If you're not throwing full power shots, you can also work just that step. You know I have that boxing footwork video, footwork for speed and power at the same time, where you're stepping here, Pacquiao style, so you don't always have to be pivoting on all your shots. You gotta find out what works for you. So once you get the easy method down here, jab, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, back. Now you're gonna get into the real one, which is the pendulum popping in and out. And if you do this, this is really challenging. If you can even just do this for a minute, you're gonna be next level. Even just a minute is hard. One thing to keep in mind is, doesn't mean you fight this way. In a fight, you might just use here, boom, boom, boom. You might really just use one in and out. Practically, you're gonna use one in and out, but to work the drill expands your ability. It expands your overall ability, helps the rest of your boxing with your footwork in the moving in and out and all the agility. So working this as a drill, even though the whole thing, don't think of it practically. Practically and tactically, it's here. Boom, boom, boom. It's the in and out quick. But when you're gonna do more than, two, than one in and out, then you're working it more like a drill. So keep in mind, this is a drill to push your capacity. Okay, so let's go here. In and out, both feet, watch. Jab, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, back. This back foot doesn't go as much as the front. I go, this kind of comes along a little bit with it. Back, and then back in, and then back out, and then back in, and then back out. Where you're gonna have that hard time is 
On the jab, it's pretty easy, nothing changes. But when I go one, two, here I have to learn to come back. And then I go on the one, two, three, one, two, three here, I have to learn to push off and come back. So you're learning how to move in and out while finishing on a different punch. So that way you have the, the footwork ability off of anything you throw, whether it's gonna be the uppercut, one, two, boom, and then you move out, or whether it's gonna be overhead right, boom, and you move in and out, okay? So let me work it, I'm gonna do two cycles right now. I challenge you to do a minute. Set yourself for a minute, see if you can go for a minute. So here I go. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, two, three, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, two. Okay? And you would work that for a minute going nonstop. And that's really gonna help your agility and your overall footwork in a huge way. All right, you guys, simple drill, but very challenging, especially with the agility, the in and outs, and the constant motion. Most of you won't be used to this sort of in and out because it takes the calves and the body a little while to get used to that spring. The spring is something that is developed, takes a little bit of time. So if you have a hard time with the fast method, boom, then work the easy method, which is just here. Front leg, bam, one, two, one, two, three. Just get used to that spring. Once you get both feet involved here, then the back leg's gonna get in there. And if you want, switch sides here. Jab, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, two. Okay, get used to working both sides. If you really wanna challenge yourself, push yourself to the next level. This is probably my best, my favorite footwork drill. If you really wanna ramp up your footwork for your conditioning and your agility overall, you just work this. It's not practical fighting, like here when you're moving around, but it's gonna condition you for all the other stuff, so the other stuff is just like a piece of cake. Push this drill on the bag, pop, pop, pop. Okay, and you're really gonna see your footwork, conditioning and boxing go to the next level, I guarantee you. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure to subscribe, like the video. That tells YouTube that you love me as much as I love you. All right, see you next video, peace.